Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. I'm not going to hold you guys much long, just a couple of minutes. Very important. There is rumors going that there might be an absolute lockdown within 48 hours. What this means is that everybody's going to be told, just as they did in Italy, in Spain, and different parts of the world, to stay in. Nobody's coming out. Unless necessary, of course. Now, brothers and sisters, there's a lot of things to be learned from this. I'm going to keep this very simple and short. This is a very, very urgent message, not because there's a lockdown happening in 48 hours, but there's a bigger, bigger thing that we all have to understand. And this might sound a bit cliche, but it's fundamental for us to understand this. A lot of the times we are told that when it comes to obligations as Muslims that we should do, we are told, for example, sometimes we'll say, you know what, I'm busy to pray. Yeah, I've got children, etc. It's hard. I need to earn money. I don't have a break. Yeah, um, I need to go and do this and do that. I'm not feeling well, uh, etc. I'll pray later. I'll make it up. All of these excuses. Listen to me carefully, very, very carefully. This is a reminder to myself first. All of those factors, work, this, that, shopping, etc. Right now, in 48 hours, what that means is going to be a absolute lockdown. And what that means is that we're all going to be in our own houses with our family members, which I've done a video in Salam, which you guys should check out, about kinship. This has also forced us to be in our family houses with our own family members to fix kinship. But that's another issue. What's really important is that when we're going to be in our houses, there is none of these excuses. I have to go work. Yeah, I have to wake up in the morning. I'm going to be busy with this and that and blah, blah, blah. That's all those excuses are gone. Now the question that needs to be asked is the following For those who are not praying And for those who are not doing their obligations All those excuses, external in excuses and influences are gone You are at home with your family members Maybe for the next two weeks Maybe for a month, maybe for two months, maybe for three months We do not know Now if you have come to the realisation That you're still not praying When you're at home then the question that needs to be asked is the following Was it really the early morning shifts, the late night shifts, the money that you had to provide Which is coming from Allah anyways, as an excuse not to pray Kids, family, this, that, mum and dad have to do this, football, etc, blah, blah, catching up with the girls Or is it that there's something internal going on that's preventing me from praying Because all these factors have stopped now So that means you have no excuse not to pray And if you're not praying that means all of those external things were nothing but an excuse Brothers and sisters, this is fundamental This is so important for us to realise this At Salam, our organisation, we really want to convey this message to you guys Please, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Realise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says That we send a smaller calamity before the greater one Meaning this small thing that's come, this virus, God knows what's going to do, how many people it's going to kill We don't know, we're not trying to scare people, we have to have our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala In 1990 there was a uh, same issue that happened in Spain and it killed 30 million people May Allah protect us from that However, this is a realisation for us all To understand that Allah is the one that's in control Return back to Him at this time, if you're in your houses, please, 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 if you are not turning to your Lord, if you're not praying, doing istighfar, giving in charity, whatever it may be, being kind to your spouses, whatever it may be, do good deeds towards him. Reading the Quran, reflecting, reading the hadith. If you're not doing this, brothers and sisters, have no doubt that all those other excuses, those factors that you thought were stopping you from doing good deeds or getting close to Allah was nothing but an absolute excuse that Allah has moved out the way and you're in your houses, you have not, for nothing to do but reflect. You're working at home now, it's time to reflect. And at these times, if we do not change, Wallahi, I do not know what else can change us. Wallahi, if you're not going to change at this moment in time, I don't know what else can change. It's a reminder for me to you as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Reminder benefits a believer Brothers and sisters, please Let's use this We don't know if this will be the last time we see each other We don't know, anything can happen So please turn to Salah Turn back to your Lord Like Umar ibn Khattab said and I'll finish on this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised this nation, this Ummah With the Quran and the Sunnah And if we turn our backs on it Allah would humiliate us so brothers and sisters, hope this virus 
goes away and we're all protected, especially our elderly. But just reflect because you have no other choice but because you've got a long couple of days or weeks or months of reflection. Do some tadabbur. Indeed, it might be a key that will save you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh from Salam Studios. I will keep you guys updated with events and current issues that's going on.